Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus them. Aries, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Aries, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Aries spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, star card. Either somebody is being looked at as their star, their wish come true, or maybe somebody just wants to heal the connection. I do feel that one person has not the best impression about the other person, saying, you know, they were very egoistic or they always wanted their way and they were playing mind games. I'm not going to deal with a person like that. I'm going to drop this person. Now, I don't even want to message them. I don't want to talk to them. This was a very controlling person, maybe. So, yeah, one per this person is saying, I'm, um, I'm not stressed up. I'm not going to stay stuck and stressed about this person. I want something which is going to be long lasting. The other person seems very depressed about the fact that the first person has walked away. They walked away. Now they're very confused. They feel things have ended. Um, either they are worried that the other person has already moved on to new love uh, or they want to come back and woo the first person because they want to come back. They feel this is a soulmate bond and I want to return back to the person who's let, let me go or who's walked away from me. At least that's my first impression, Aries. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you and then we'll do the action cards as well. But first, let's, uh, let's do your dialogue message cards. No, before that, let me ask the universe. Uh, Spirit, what's really going on between Aries and their person? What's the underlying reason that both of these people are feeling this way? Aries and their person, Spirit. Aries and their person, Spirit. Right. The first card here says, Soulmate, you were meant to meet each other for a reason. So, yeah, the other person is recognizing that this was a soulmate bond. Now, what that reason is, is it for a reason, Is it was it for a season, or is it going to be for a lifetime? We don't know yet, right? But this is a strong soulmate connection. Okay, second, free will. Someone has been sitting on the fence. It can still go either way. Longing. Someone is yearning and desiring you now. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with some dialogue message cards, Aries. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify these. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. All right, let's take a few more from another deck, Aries. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, spirit, what would that be? Okay, and a few more from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading, Aries. Aries and their person, spirit. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Aries, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card says, I need to step it up. Yep, they know they need to bring, bring on their romantic side if they want to come back. I'm afraid of what I might see. Yeah, they're worried by the time they come back, will their person be already with, be with somebody else? I'm sexually frustrated, frustrated. I want to hear your voice. I'm slowly evolving. I'm drafting up what to say. Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. 
I would be honored to have a family with you. Sorry for what I've done to you. Karma is kicking my ass now. You are the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. I pray for you all the time and do healing work on your behalf. I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. I realized that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? I only want two, two things in my life. Everything that makes you happy and nothing that makes you suffer. I love you always and forever. I'm planning a surprise engagement. I want to ask you to marry me. Will you say yes? I swear you get more beautiful every day. With age, you refine and blossom like fine wine. You're absolutely stunning inside and out. I admire you. I care about you. I trust you. I respect you. And I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. All right. So these were your, these were your messages, Aries. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card for the viewer. Now you could be watching Aries, maybe your cross watcher is. So this card is intended for the person who's been drawn to listen to the reading. A blessing, guidance, advice or a message. <laughs> Even spirit is saying, practice makes perfect. Try, try, you will succeed. Practice makes perfect, viewer. Okay, so now let's start. Let's start with this deck and uh, I'm going to first focus on one side which is person A for me and newcomers please remember these are not gender based and I'm not going to guess which side you're on. I could be dealing with two Aries right on both sides. So if this is your reading, you've been resonating, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on, who this person is for you and of course it can be a love interest, spouse, ex, a secret crush, could even be a non-romantic relationship like a relative or a best friend or something okay so use your judgment there i'm going to start with person a and once i'm done here later we'll move to the other side so person a in your feelings and your emotions what's the five of swords what's the five of swords one more yeah person a feels that um, each time maybe you guys got into any conversation, it was always that the other person wanted to win and the person A feels they were playing mind games and it, they just wanted to win all the time and this became like an ongoing uh, scenario where one person was always winning at the cost of the other uh, and there was it wasn't leading to anything substantial. Like what is all this talk, talk, talk and fighting but you know nothing really materializes in the 3D world. I think person A got fed up of that. They got fed up of that and they're saying, you know what, I can't deal with this anymore. I need to give up on this connection. Uh, person A, I think, recognized that the other person was never going to be with them for a new beginning or offer something substantial or was probably making a fool of them or making them look like a fool. I think finally person A uh, tried it maybe a couple of times or maybe more and then they kind of got very disappointed and said, you know what, this is not working out. I can't be the only one putting an investment and you know you just want to get away with uh, all these fights and arguments and it's not leading anywhere. So person A decided that you know I would rather just be single. I want to be single. I want to be independent. I don't want to deal with anyone who's um, well just playing games or just has ego hassles or you know wants to win at all costs at uh, each turn. So why do you feel this way person A? Person A says because it was keeping me stuck. It was keeping me stuck and then, you know, I was always on the waiting end while they were out there lying, cheating and, you know, doing all sorts of things, playing mind games. Uh, I, I found that really immature and petty behavior because that was definitely not leading up to anything long term. It was just creating a lot of imbalance in my life. Why do you feel this way, Person A? Tell me. Page of Wands in reverse. What's the Page of Wands in reverse? I think person A... I 
healthy person a realized that things were just never going to change and uh, no point you know keeping up a farce of a relationship where one person was reaching out all the time and the other person was juggling them or they never knew whether they would even get a response from the other person it was like yeah i mean they uh, it's better that i do right for myself or you know turn towards my own happiness because i think person a realized that the other person was maybe just not ready or they were stubborn or egoistic or pretending to be somebody they were not and basically they were not a true empowered person uh, emperor in reverse emperor in reverse yeah even though i think uh, person a for a minute did feel that you know there was a deep bond between the two of you there was a soulmate bond soulmate connection both of you have the six of cups card and maybe for a while person a did feel yes this could be you know so, something really beautiful we could have an equal give and take partnership this is my soulmate but because of the behavior of the other person i think person a kind of had to learn to put their boundaries up put their guard up and maybe just turn their back on this connection I mean everything was going well I feel everything seemed it was well aligned and this was like meant to be kind of a connection till I think they realized that no point no point this person is just too egoistic they're never going to change they're still playing all these mind games they're still you know behaving immaturely so I think person A finally turned their back all right so how do you see the connection now person A how do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection eight of swords in reverse yeah person a says i'm not overthinking this anymore i've cut those chains that were keeping me bound and stuck and chained to this person uh, i realize that the true uh, happiness and long term happiness can be brought upon by myself so i have actually become more confident now i've become confident i'm taking care of business yes i have released expectations i've released worry which was keeping me stuck having sleepless nights stress tension and i'm totally moving on i feel luck is on my side and the universe is granting me power strength and long term stability on my own because in this connection I think there was discontent there was boredom there was a feeling that you know I'm I'm feeling stuck here the minute I think person a released expectation I think they started to move towards their own independence or their own long term happiness or their own goals uh, for once what's the for once yep see focused totally focused on their money on their finances on their pentacle and stabilizing their own life no longer even waiting around for any oh you know apology or any any anything from the other person okay so what action person a will finally take i will open later aries let's go to the other side see how person b is feeling and then we'll do the action cards together so person b in your feelings in your emotions i see the four of swords in reverse you see my little sad and depressed am i right yeah they are very confused <laughs> they are very very confused they are depressed they feel that the person who was so loving and kind and generous has pulled back their love and maybe has a lot of other options now they are kind of trying to wonder why have you walked away why have you walked away from me yeah they are scared they are so scared that their past trickster ways maybe have been a cause for uh, that person to walk away this person is very very scared they are really scared they don't know what to do they could be a bit depressed uh, they want to end the fight now they want to end the conflict because they've realized that the other person is not playing the game it's like if two people are in a ring boxing let's say and uh, the other one person is always ready to box 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 and the other person just puts their hand, arms down and sits down then it's like oh you know you just walk to way you don't want to fight me it's almost like that kind of a feeling so they are kind of confused now what to do eight of cups yeah all they can think about is how do i return or how do i get them to return back into that ring this is what they are seeing they are seeing that person who are having walked away and this is what they were hoping for or waiting for and now they don't see that coming I think this person really expected that you know sooner or later so they love me so much and they're so kind they're the this they're that but they 
are now well standing there holding their gloves i guess uh, why do you feel this way person b seven of cups what's the seven of cups again seven of cups maybe in the past this person wanted to leave their options open maybe they were not interested in commitment in the past they had made up their mind it was almost like they had made up their mind that i want to have many many options and that is my decision i that, that is my choice kind of a thing and now they don't know they're scared they don't know how to come back and apologize for that maybe that's the impression they gave i mean i have lots of options and this is my decision and i don't want a commitment or something like that now they are scared that uh, the connection with person a has totally come to an ending death card yeah this person is now angry they are upset and you know it's like oh my god what have i done they are they are scared that the other person is moving on is probably having passion with somebody else uh, maybe they have a lot of options now death yeah they yeah they feel the other person has to totally taken back their power and is moving on without them and very successfully so very very successfully so it's making person be be wild with maybe jealousy or anger or upset because they feel eventually they are the ones who got left behind okay so how do you feel about the connection now person b how do you see person a and how do you feel about this connection knight of cups what's the knight of cups knight of cups they feel person a is lying they feel person a is lying to them i'm sure they you know the only reason they walked away and never returned is because they are with somebody else i'm sure they are out there i'm sure there's a third party they look so happy they're having a good time i'm sure they're lying and i'm sure they're already attached to somebody else am i right person b yeah they feel that person a has moved on towards new love they feel person a has moved on towards new love is in, in a partnership with somebody else already and that is what is really making them feel very very depressed and sad then what's the six of cups what's the six of cups i think they were hoping to rebuild i think this person was just playing games and i think after the realization came that they want to come back and <clears throat> this is the person they want i have a feeling they they kind of came to that aha moment that person a is my soulmate and i do want to return back to them in fact they had made up their mind that we are a perfect match you are the person i want to spend the rest of my life with you are the perfect candidate for that and uh, now i think they're just sitting in sadness and depression and feel missing person a uh, feeling uh, they've been released now they are the ones who are having sleepless nights stress tension so <clears throat> let's see let's see what actions you guys will take then i'm going to take another deck for this one aries and while i shuffle this deck may i please now request you remind you if you could just tap the thumbs up button please for me helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise six of pentacles person a says i'm not dealing with anyone less than uh, a partnership of equal give and take okay so what does that mean for the other person magician ace of wands page of wands and the empress and the emperor all right person has got their ducks in a row they are totally sure of the kind of relationship they want it's yeah you know what i will settle for nothing less than a equal in my life emperor to the empress at least that's what person a is manifesting uh I think they this person A is ready for a brand new beginning. Yes, so wants they're ready for a brand new passionate big beginning in their life. If person B, they say, if person B would apologize to me, if they would apologize to me, I may just be friends with them because they never made up their mind, they never made up their choice, and. Uh, <clears throat> 
Yeah, I think person A is going to be discerning. If person B does come back with an apology, person A is going to suss them out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let me hear what you have to say. Mm, because I know what I want. I want to know if you want, if you know what you want. I know I bring a lot to the table. I know I'm marriage material. I know I bring a lot to the table. And if you can't, if you can't offer me a true partnership, then I'm fine. I'll just move on towards new love because I know my worth. I know my value. And I know there's somebody out there who's going to see the same. So person A is like, they're not bitter. They're not angry. But in their mind, they're manifesting a true match. And yes, they are open to maybe being friends with the other person or even forgiving the other person, but they're not going to settle. It's like if you can come with that, you know, perfect offer of equal give and take, then it's all right. I forgive you and I'll move on to new love. Person is uh, speaking from a very, very healed position. That's what they're praying for. That's what they're wishing for is an equal give and take. It's like, yes, I have lots of offers on the table now because, you know, I'm worthy. I have lots of offers on the table, but I'm going to say no to most of them. It's almost like person A wants to see action, like prove to me that you are my equal or that's it. I'll, I'll find somebody else who's honest, who's, you know, worthy or who's on my level. I'm not going to deal with just a player who comes in and, you know, just wants to have some passion with me or something. So, very wise individual. Person A, person B, what about you? Will you come back being their perfect match? Person B's action towards person A. Hanged man. They are kind of stuck at the moment, it seems. They're trying to see things from maybe person A's perspective. And let's see. Hanged man for you. Action. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups, okay, Nine of Pentacles. They want to come back. They definitely want to come back and fight for this connection. This person is thinking of the perfect way they can um, come back, get a chance to fight for this connection. They want a happily ever after. I think all they are concerned about is, are you still single? Because I want to come back. I hope you're still single. They're envisioning in their mind competition for person A. But I think I have a feeling they are ready to kind of fight for that. Am I right? Give me more. Person B. Give me more. Yeah, they, they want to start talking. They, they feel that maybe if I start talking to person A and uh, I can get some information out of person A as to are they with somebody else, is there somebody else, are they in a relationship already, are they single. If they get to know that person A is still single, well, that's going to make them really, really happy. It's going to make them really happy. And then I have a feeling this person from a more relaxed pace uh, will offer something very, very substantial. They want to have a stable brand new beginning with person A. It's just that they are playing the waiting game because they don't want to rush in too quickly and get disappointed. So I think this person is trying, will maybe just maybe start some communication or conversation or find out from other people, you know, through conversation again to find out where person A is at. If they find out that person A is still available, I have a feeling this person is not going to let person A go because they see person A as their wish come true. Tell me about the star card. Overall energy for Aries reading today's spirit. What's the star card? What's the star card? Five of pentacles. Yeah, they feel they lost out. And they, they, this person knows this is my soulmate. They're really missing person A, who are they, they are seeing as their ultimate wish come true, their soulmate. Yes, I think this time was very required for them to go into that hind man's position or the hermit mode to reflect and understand what this connection was all about. Now they're realizing this is my soulmate. They know, 100% they know. It's just that how do I now get it back? Right? So that's what I have for you. Till next time then, Aries. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.